I'm Jim O'Kelly. And I'm McKenna Gannon. And this is Monday, Monday Madness. Madness. A little more muted this year than uh, previous shows, right, McKenna? Hey, yeah, just a little bit dialed down, but still the same amount of fun, I think. We're going to be just as entertaining as we always are without, without the yelling. <laughs> Less yelling, maybe more fun? Right, we'll see. That's the way it's going this year. <laughs> um, of course, on Saturday, the day we've all been waiting for the yeah. Hoop Shoot Finals at Wintrust Arena. I cannot believe we're already here. I am so excited to welcome the 72 national finalists. That's right. And it's great to be back at Wintrust for a second year. And we're yeah. going to be there through 2026, which is also very That's exciting. That's huge news. That's huge news. Now, the 72 you mentioned, of course, are the, uh, the champions, uh, the six champions from each of 12 regions. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to be going through each of the divisions today, announcing the, the shooting order. Yep. Talking a little bit about... Uh, about the shooters, and of course, we'll break down each contest. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we get to that, we do have a little bit of housekeeping. Yes, we do. One of the things we're really excited about this year uh, is we're going to have not one, but two broadcasts from the arena on Saturday. Um, on the girls' side, I'll, I'll be back with uh, the champ, Lake and Bolts, mm -hmm. again, to cover all the action. Girls 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 13. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have a second team this, this year uh, doing the boys. It's yes. going to be uh, the Hall of Famer, Zeb Alford, right. and uh, Bart Powell, son of a legend, Getty Powell. They're going to be doing the play-by-play uh, -play on the boys' side. Right, and Bart has never missed a national final. He's been to every <laughs> single one, right? He's going to be bringing some cool history there. And uh, Zeb, will, of course, will have uh, you know the insider's perspective exactly. of the contest. Right. So that's going to be a lot of fun. You can go to enf.elks.org slash hs23 live and that'll give you a link to either of the two contests. You can pick the one you want to watch, and uh, it'll be streaming on Saturday. We're really excited about it. I, I seriously can't wait. It's going to be amazing. So are we ready uh, to get started? Let's get going. All right. We're going to go uh, by age groups. We're going to start 8 9. We'll do the boys first, then the girls. Yeah. Then we'll do the same thing for 10 11 and the same thing for 12 13. That sounds perfect. All right. Well, why don't we start uh, by breaking down the 8 9 competition on the boys' side? Is it by the numbers? <laughs> uh, it's by the numbers <laughs> a little bit. Maybe by the words. We'll Ooh. see. Well, things are different this year, McKenna. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we're a little, a little slow on the branding. Um, but, McKenna, I want to start by asking what these four things have in common. Jeez. Jump, Orwell, Panama, and 22. Oh, geez. I was not aware there would be a pop quiz today. Oh, I expect um, a lot of them. Kind of, that's another thing that we're changing on the show. <laughs> more interaction, more quizzes. Um, you know, the first thing that came to my mind was Jump Street, but I know that's wrong. Excellent guess, but it is wrong. <laughs> eh, off the iron, clank. 1984. Jump and Panama were hit singles on Van Halen's oh, excellent yeah. album titled 1984. <laughs> George Orwell, of course, wrote the novel of the same name. And 22, the last time someone won this division with a 22, of course, was 1984. Wow. Now, I do have a little bit of good news. These 12 finalists in this division averaged 23 at regionals, so that's good, right? Whoa. That is good. Wrong, because oh, last time a 23 <laughs> hunted in this division was 2014. History tells us if you miss one or, or more shots in this division, I'm sorry, if you miss more than one shot in this division, you're going to need some help. Jeez. Now, here's some numbers for you. Six, four, and one. Half of this field of fresh-faced fresh free-throw mm. aficionados, how about that alliteration, <laughs> hit 24 at the regionals, right? Of the remaining six, four reached that mark at one of the other levels, and one of them had a perfect score. The Ooh. only one in this field at state. Oh my gosh. Now, this division, I know we like the things running on time at the hoop shoot, right? <laughs> we do. This division hates the schedule when five of the past <laughs> six finals, this one has required extra shots to resolve. And those shootouts have gone an average of 5.8 rounds. That's nearly 30 extra shots. That's now, last year, of course, Troy Kendall and Samuel Nolan dueled for 35 additional shots. And in 2016, the incredible Camden Colgo and Ben Johnson had us on the edge of our seats for a dazzling 45 extra 
free throws. That's amazing. <laughs> Odds are we'll see another shootout on Saturday. And two of these boys survived dramatic duels oh my gosh. at regionals. You ready to meet them? I'm really ready. All right, here we go with our eight to nine boys division, shooting in the first position. All the way from Northwest Region One, we have Jacoby Glenn. And Jacoby is sponsored by the Greater Spokane Washington Lodge 228. Now Jacoby, Jacoby did uh, sink 24 at the Lodge level. That was his best round of the yeah. tournament. Pretty consistent since then with 21s at each round. That's pretty incredible. All right. Next up in the second position, um, we have Brent Mazadra. Brent is from New England, region number six, um, and he is representing Manchester, Connecticut, lodge number 1893. He posted a 24 at regional and a 24 at state. Yeah, consistency yep. is key there. And his favorite thing about the hoop shoot is seeing new gyms. So I'm excited for him to see Wintrust because that is time. definitely going to be a cool gym to, to see. Yeah. Um, all right, in third position, we have Bryson Gates. Bryson is from Central Region Number 9. Uh, he is representing Cleveland, Tennessee, Lodge 1944. He also shot a 24 at regionals. It's going to be one to watch. Um, he is one of the many kids here that I love the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. That is a popular book this year. In the fourth position, we have Talon Wheeler. He represents Southeast Central Region Number 10. Um, and his sponsoring lodge is Hickory, North Carolina Lodge 1654. Now, Talon shot 24 at state and 24 again at regionals, and it wasn't quite good enough. He needed the shootout to resolve and went two rounds, and he was perfect, 10 out of 10 to make it here. Whew. All right, shooting in the fifth position is Brody Ernsthausen. Brody is from Great Lakes region number four, and he's representing Lebanon, Ohio Lodge 422. He got here with a 23 at regionals, but did hit 24 at state. It's pretty impressive. Also impressive is that Brody's unique talent is walking on his hands. Well, what I'd like to know is, can you shoot with your feet? <laughs> that would be something. That right? would be yeah. amazing, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, in the sixth position, we have Duncan Walker. Duncan is from West Region Number 7, representing Henderson, Green Valley, Nevada, Lodge 2802. And he dropped another one of those 24s at regionals. Absolutely, and his talent is basketball, you can tell. Um, Who would have guessed? <laughs> it's a surprise. In seventh, we have Maddox Chapman. Maddox is from North Central Region number three, representing Jacksonville, Illinois, Lodge 682. Got here with a 22 at regionals, but did hit 24 at state. It's pretty impressive, Maddox. Um, in eighth, we have from Southeast Region number 12, John Carl Knight who is representing Coleman, Alabama, Lodge 1609. Now, uh, John Carl had his lowest score of the tournament at regionals with a 21 mm -hmm. and uh, needed a shootout to get here. It went three rounds. He sank 14 out of 15. Now at the lodges, he had 23, district 22, and at state, perfect. the only perfect score in this field, a 25. Perfect. Can he be perfect again? Will his armor shine? <laughs> We'll find out we'll on Saturday. Find out. Um, all right. So in ninth position, we have Armante Venticuatro. Armante is representing Boonville, New York, Lodge 2158, and is from Northeast Central Region Number 5. He shot 24 uh, at regionals as well. Seems like they all did. They all did. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. His dream vacation is Chicago. And as good as he is at uh, hoop shoot, He's even a better fisher, uh, fisherman. Yeah, bass, bass fishing. fishing. And he's hoping to reel in one of those big trophies. <laughs> That's pretty. I, I once got a trophy this big. <laughs> but really. <laughs> yeah, seriously, right? Um, in 10th, we have Gregory Rout the third. Gregory is from Southwest Region number 11, and he's representing Shreveport, Louisiana, Lodge 122. Gregory, you're shooting for all of us triples on Saturday. <laughs> Um, in 11th, we have Jake Shretlin. Jake is representing York, Nebraska, Lodge 1024, and is from West Central Region number eight. Uh, he is a runner, and he's hoping to go on a good one yeah, on Saturday. Absolutely. Um, and absolutely last but not least, uh, we have Lincoln Shook. Lincoln is from Northwest Central Region number two, and he's representing Bismarck, Mandan, North Dakota, Lodge 1199. And yet another of 
our 24s at regional. Very, very exciting stuff. Right? This is going to be a very exciting division. You know, he can make a, a three-leaf clover with his tongue. Is that good luck? I wonder if he does that with, when he shoots, like Michael Jordan did. <laughs> did he really? Well, he used to, sometimes he would dunk and he'd have his tongue out. Oh, wow. So maybe well, we'll, we'll see, see him doing the three-leaf clover while he's shooting. On Saturday. Days. I would love to see it. Well, that's our eight to nine boys, right? We should that probably take it? a short break. And when we come back, eight, eight to nine, nine girls. girls. All right, we're back with the eight to nine girls division. On the other side of the gym, they'll be shooting, right? Yep. And McKenna, what I'd like to talk about is the wind trust effect. Ooh. Now, many of these competitions have taken place in, in smaller gyms. Right. High school gym, junior high school gym, mm -hmm. maybe a small college gymnasium. Yeah. But on Saturday, we're going to be shooting in a pretty large arena, mm -hmm. Wind Trust. It seats about 10,000 people. Now, last year, uh, the, the scores in five of the divisions, five of the six divisions, declined by 3.7%. There's a go, big arrow down, compared with the previous four in-person finals. But curiously, this division, they improved by 5.8%. What? It could be that the eight, nine girls appreciate a bigger stage. Huh. Maybe. Interesting. Now, the, at regionals, this, this group ran the gamut. High, high score 24, low score 15 to get here, right? That's the widest spread tied with the 12, 13 girls. The average was 19.92 at regionals mm. for these girls. Now, the last time a 20 took this division was all the way back in 1919, 1985. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> You a Bowling for Soup fan? <laughs> yes, huge Bowling yeah. for Soup fan. All right. Uh, since 1986, you've needed a 22 or better to win this division. Wow. Now, five of these girls posted 22 or better at regionals. Only one of the other seven reached that mark at any other level. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now let's meet these girls. It's exciting. All right. Without further ado, first up, Shooting for the eight to nine girls is Cadence Watson. Cadence is representing Great Lakes region number four and her lodge is Coshocton, Ohio, lodge 376. She got here with a 22, right? Yep. There's that she's, magic number. She's right on par. She also survived a shootout at, uh, at State, hit yeah. five out of five. It's pretty incredible. And her lucky charm is her wiener dog socks. Which... And I'm hoping we get a shot at those on uh, Saturday. <laughs> Me too, on yeah. the broadcast. Yeah. Um, next up in second position, we have Alea Hawes. Alea is from Southeast region number 12, and she's representing Augusta, Georgia, lodge number 205. Average 17 uh, in the previous four rounds. Yeah. Been right around that number, 17 mm -hmm. at lodge, 17 at district, 16 at state, and okay. 18 at region. All right, well, we'll see if she can continue to keep that up or get some forward momentum. Well, her favorite book is Charlotte's Web, so on Saturday she's hoping to be terrific. <laughs> Number three is Rhea McCombi. Rhea is from Northeast Central Region Number 5 and is sponsored by Indiana, Pennsylvania Lodge 931. She's quite the comedian, I understand. Yeah, right? she, she makes people laugh. Right, she does. <laughs> In fourth position, we have Callie Stitch. Callie is from Southeast Central Region number 10 um, and is representing Southern Pines, North Carolina, Lodge 1692. You know, she only shot 15 at regional, but she got some help, right? Yeah. And that was good enough. Oh, yeah. Good enough. Good enough. And she had a, a shoot off there and she took care of business in the shootout, four out of five to advance. Absolutely. But at state was shooting a 20, yeah, which right, is great. Right. So let's see if she can get back to that. In fifth position, we have Eva Williams. Eva is from New England region number six and is representing Windsor, Vermont, Lodge 1665. Eva has a unique talent for math. Right? Yes, yeah, which is great. I, you know, I wish I had a unique talent for math, right. honestly. She's been averaging uh, 13 and a third uh, in, the, in the tournament so far, got 16 at regional, mm -hmm. and I'm sure she knows the math on that. She needs to bump it up <laughs> bump a little that bit. Up. Um, in sixth position is Lucy Lathan. Lucy comes all the way from Grants Pass, Oregon, Lodge 1584, and is from Northwest Region Number One. 
Her biggest fan? Her Uncle Eric. You have a favorite uncle? You know, I do. Uncle Ron. Yeah? Yeah. I don't, but I am a lot of people's favorite uncle. <laughs> That's a good place to mm -hmm. be. Yep. <laughs> um, all right. In position number seven, we have Avery Steinkamp. Avery is from West Central Region number eight and representing Greeley, Colorado, Lodge 809. And she's another one whose favorite book is Charlotte's Web. So far in this tournament, last two rounds, yeah. her scores have been radiant. <laughs> 22s at the regional and I state levels. I think it's amazing. Yeah. And I also think that it's incredible that her talent is showing pigs. That's right. Right on par with Charlotte's Web. Which Web. came first, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Her love of Charlotte's Web or, <laughs> or the showing pigs. pigs. Um, in eighth position, we have Lola Nestor. Lola is from North Central Region number three and is representing Hutchinson, Minnesota, Lodge 2427. Now, whenever I leave the home, the house, it's hit or miss on whether I'll remember my lucky charm, which is this little stone right here. It says create on it. It's like what I'm doing right now, yeah. creating entertainment, mm -hmm. memories. Lola never leaves home without her lucky charm because they are her shoes, shoes. which is genius, Lola. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? That is a really smart lucky charm to have. It is. <laughs> you're always going to have it with you. Unless, of course, you're on the beach. Right. Then you're right. out of luck. But for this, very important. Yes. Um, in, also, she lives in Minnesota. Not right. A, not a lot of beaches. Not a lot of beaches. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> in ninth position, we have Molly McMath. Molly is from Southwest Region number 11, and she is representing McAllister, Oklahoma, Lodge 533. She's another one. At the lodge level, she uh, hit 18 out of 25, tied for first, mm -hmm. two rounds of a shoot-off, made six out of 10, and that was good enough to advance. And since then, she's really buckled down. 21 at district, 20 at state, yeah. and 24 at regionals. Her uh, score has improved by 33% from lodge to regionals. That's incredible. That shows grit. Yep. Lots of time in the gym, I'm sure, for Molly. In 10th, we have Kate Feenstra. Kate is from Northwest Central Region number two and is representing Dillon, Montana, Lodge 1554. Best round of the tournament for her was uh, regionals where mm -hmm. she shot 23. Yeah, look at that improvement from state at a 15 to regional at 23. Yep. That's yep. impressive. Um, all right, next up in 11th, we have Audrina Salinas from Gilroy, Col California, excuse me, lodge number 1567, and is um, representing West Region number seven. She uh, made it here with a 17 at regionals, but she got 22 at district, 21 at state, won a shoot off at state with five out of five. Yeah. Also, goes by the nickname of Shorty. <laughs> And it's not one of those situations where they call, uh, you know, the big guy tiny yes. or a heavy person slim. She's only four feet tall. She's right? little. She's so eight. It's, it's a she's, literal nickname. Yeah, she's nine. Right. Shorty makes sense. Right. And last but not least, in 12th, we have Riley Stewart from Central Region Number 9, representing West Plains, Missouri, Lodge 2418. And she got here with a 23 at state. Also very good math. Very, at math. Yeah. I would like to see if that score adds up to 25 on Saturday. Right. Okay, those are our eight, nine <laughs> girls. Very nice. Let's take another short break. When All we come right. back, we'll have the 10, 11 boys. Awesome. And we're back with the boys 10 to 11 division. All right, McKenna, let's play McKenna, spot the theme. Uh -oh. You ready? In the past six finals, the winner of this division missed more than one shot one time, and that year he missed two. Mm -hmm. Only one of these 12 boys sank 24 at regionals, which means, hey, that's two number ones. <laughs> 11 of these boys missed the magic number at regionals, but there were three 23s. Now, we talked earlier about the wind trust effect. Mm -hmm. Shooting in a large arena seemed to depress the average score in five of the six divisions last year. Okay. For the 10, 11 boys, the average declined by 3.6% compared mm. with the previous four in-person finals. Now, McKenna, of these 12 boys, guess how many competed in last year's finals and thus may not succumb to the wind trust effect this year? One. That's correct. Let's meet these boys. <laughs> All right, let's do it. In first position, we have Davis Balderston. Davis is from Southeast Central Region number 10 and is representing Severna Park, Maryland, Lodge 2482. He had a 23 at regionals. That's and now he, one of his, what's a special talent, <laughs> his, unique talent? His unique talent made me laugh out loud when I read it for the first time. He can make 
each eye go in different directions like a lizard. And interestingly, his favorite part of the hoop, she was trying to stage a comeback in the second round. So it's like <laughs> his two rounds go in different directions. Like the first 10 are down, and then the second 10 go up, much like he can make his eyes go, right? Okay, yeah, and I'm excited to see him possibly right. do this on right, Saturday. Right. All right, in second position, we have Charlie Granado. Charlie is from New England region number six and is representing Marshfield, Massachusetts, Lodge 2494. He's been averaging uh, 20 in the four rounds of the tournament, right around that number. That's very cool. Um, his favorite part of the hoop shoot is competing with all of his teammates and friends. In third place, we have Thomas Coach. Thomas is from Northeast Central region number five, representing Westwood, New Jersey, Lodge 1562. His favorite part of the hoop shoot is eating the food. <laughs> That's a good thing to like about the hoop yeah. shoot. <laughs> All right, in fourth, we have Jackson Ramos. Jackson is from Great Lakes region number four, representing Lorraine, Ohio, Lodge 1301. Jackson can name every sports team in the NBA, the Major League Baseball, the NFL, and that's it. What about the NHL? I'll be yeah. impressed when you can name the NHL teams, <laughs> Come Jackson. On, Jackson. Come on, Jackson. <sighs> All right. In fifth, we have Tennyson Smith. Tennyson is from Northwest Region Number One, uh, representing Boise, Idaho. Lodge Forward! Forward the Light Brigade! <laughs> Was there a man dismayed? Not. Though the soldier knew, someone had blundered. Theirs not to make reply, theirs not to reason why, theirs but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Do you know that poem, McKenna? I have heard that poem. It's the Charge of the Light Brigade, written by? Tennyson? That's correct, <laughs> Alfred Lord Tennyson. Now, our young Tennyson here hopes to fare better than the chaps did in that Light Brigade. I really hope so. Didn't end so well for those guys. <laughs> That's a tragic right? story, and this right. will be a good one, I right. think, for Tennyson. Awesome. All right, in sixth position, we have Carson Enix. Carson is from Central Region Number 9, uh, representing Ashland, Kentucky, Lodge 350. He survived a tough shoot-off at uh, States, hit four out of five to advance. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I also love that he wants to go to Paris for a professional soccer game. I wonder yeah. if he's an Mbappe fan watching the World Cup possible. All right. In seventh, we have Jarek Fedor. Jarek is from West Central Region number eight, uh, representing Gillette, Wyoming, Lodge 2825. Jarek advanced out of the lodge with a nine. <laughs> wow. Hits 12 at the district, lands him in a shoot off, two rounds, goes seven out of 10. Boom. State hits 18 and at regionals 23. He's improved his score from lodge to regionals by 155%. That's incredible. Derek, this is one of the most impressive right? improvements I've yep. seen in a long time. Um, in eighth position, we have Stratton Hollows. Stratton is from West Region number seven. I'm told he goes by the nickname Sleepy. Really? <laughs> Sleepy Hollows. Sleepy Hollows. Right? <laughs> Well, I don't think he'll be sleepy at the line on Saturday. Although his lucky charm is, again, also genius, <laughs> not combing his hair before he competes. Like, Mom, I, it's my lucky it's charm. It's his lucky I'm charm. I'm not going to comb my hair, right? <laughs> he got 23 at States. It's pretty impressive. Good job, Stratton. In ninth. All right, hold on a second. And this is where I want to play the music. We have Maverick Murphy representing... Northwest Central Region number two and from Glendive, Montana, Lodge 1324. Maverick is the top gun in this field. He hit 24 at regionals, 23 at state. His shooting percentage is a field best, 90.67, average 22.67 in uh, three rounds for which we have his scores. Really impressive, Maverick. In 10th, our first returner on the docket. We have Cooper Thompson. Cooper is from Southwest Region Number 11, representing Claremore, Oklahoma, Lodge 1230. He shot here last year, right? Yeah. He mm -hmm. was in the finals in 2020 and yep. in 2022. His mm -hmm. brother, uh, Caden, won a uh, Frank Heist National Championship in uh, 2020. Yep. He'll be looking to duplicate that feat here and should not be phased, as we pointed at the top. Exactly. Pointed out at the top, should not be phased by the wind trust effect. Yeah, he has the experience on this court, right. which is great. In 11th, we have Hayden Hevener. Hayden is from Southeast Region Number 12, 
representing Jacksonville, Florida, Lodge 221. Another one that uh, is here at Nationals, but could have gone differently at, lo at Locals. He, yeah. uh, he needed a shootout there to advance five out of five to get it done. Ooh, impressive. And he can move his ears without using his hands, yes. which I feel like is a talent that I'd like to see on the broadcast. But if we could combine some of these talents, like moving <laughs> yeah. the ears, getting the eyes going each way, and being good at math, now we have Holy something. Holy cow. That would be something to see. Um, and then last but not least, in 12th, we have Christopher Underwood Jr. Christopher is from North Central Region Number 3, representing St. Cloud, Minnesota, Lodge 2843. And what is his special talent? His, his unique talent. His special talent is saying the ABCs backwards in Spanish. Now, if you say uh, 22 backward, you still get 22, which is what he <laughs> shot at regionals. Awesome. And that's all of our 10 to 11 boys. Division. Let's take another short break. All right, we are back with the girls 10 to 11 division. All right, we're halfway there and let's uh, let's do this one. You ready? I'm now ready. McKenna, what is Cleopatra? Cleopatra, you mean the ancient Egyptian? She's queen? ancient history, that's what she is. Just like the last time someone won this division with a perfect score, 2006. Whoa. You don't have to be Eva Williams, the eight, nine girl with a unique talent for math to know that that's 17 <laughs> years. None of these girls was even alive 17 years ago. But you know who was McKenna? Who? Carly Samuelson, that's who. Oh. She owns the last perfect score in this division. Where have you gone, Carly Samuelson? The hoop shoot turns its lonely eyes to you. <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. Okay, actually, I know where she is. The Elks Hoop Shoot Hall of Famer is playing basketball in Australia now. Wow. Well, not right now. Right now, she's currently expecting a baby. Yeah. Uh, also, she's too old for the hoop shoot. <laughs> so we're gonna need one of these 12 competitors to step up and give us a perfect score so I can stop talking about the drought. <laughs> this is the year I can feel it in my old bones. Make it rain, girls, make it rain. Make it rain, please. All right, let's see if one of them can do it this Saturday. First up is a familiar name, possibly the one to break the drought. We'll see Emerson Hess from Great Lakes Region Number Four, uh, representing Vincennes, Indiana, Lodge 291. She posted one of the two 24s yeah. uh, uh, at regionals uh, mm -hmm. from this field, of course. She won it all as an eight, nine year old last year. She won year. it all. Uh, also with a 24 out of 25. So yeah. she's coming back uh, as a champion back to back year. She's looking to make it back to back. I, yeah, I can't wait to see her compete. It'll be great. Yeah. Um, in second, we have Alexa Tien. Alexa is from West Central Region, number eight. And she is representing Denver, Colorado Lodge 17. Does, she, does Alexa have a favorite team, McKenna? She does, the Hoosiers. Is that, a, is that an important team to anyone? Here. Alexa, when you step up to that free throw line on Saturday, don't be daunted. Do not falter. You've been through the battles, Alexa Lodge, district, state, regional. You are tried and true. Alexa Tien, oh Alexa Tien, Alexa Tien, we are all for you. Ba 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 ah you. I mean, if it's good for Samuel Nolan, it's good for Alexa Tien. You've got to do it. Yeah. Yes, if, right. it if it's an Indiana right. fan, obviously. Right. All right. In <laughs> third, we have Amelyn Schweitzer. Amelyn is from Southwest Region Number 11, and she's representing Woodward, Oklahoma, Lodge 1355. Survived a shootout at State, hitting mm -hmm. four out of five to advance to Regional, where she knocked down 20 to come get here. Yep. And she's looking forward to being treated like a celebrity this Saturday. Uh, in fourth position, we have Elena Rivas. Elena is from Northwest Central Region number two, and she's representing Glendive, Montana, Lodge 1324. Sister of uh, past national finalist, Ethan. Ethan. And I was just looking at uh, his uh, trading card mm -hmm. the other day, and he listed his lucky charm. His younger sister, her, she oh, was his lucky charm. That's so sweet. No, she won't tell us who her lucky charm is, no. right? It won't be lucky if she told us. That's right. All right, in fifth, we have Aria Shelley. Aria comes all the way from Northwest Region number one, Eagle River, Alaska, Lodge 2682. 
She has been so consistent in this tournament. 18 yeah. at Lodge, 18 at State, 18 at Regional. Twice she's had shoot-offs, and both of those shoot-offs she hit 9 out of 15. That's incredible. She is our first Alaskan competitor since 2018. That's right. And her sister uh, in 2018 tied, uh, tied for ninth in this division Ooh. with an 18. Wow. Very consistent family. Yep. In sixth, we have Alyssa Ogerlund from West Region Number 7, representing Cedar City, Utah, Lodge 1556. She has a talent for solving Rubik's Cubes, so on Saturday she will be looking to puzzle <laughs> her way to the podium. Incredible. In seventh, we have Hannah Gentilly. Hannah is from New England Region Number 6, uh, representing Mansfield, Massachusetts, Lodge 2633. She can do handstand push-ups. That's so incredible. The strength? Yeah. I wonder if that translates into some strong Yeah, shooting. maybe it does. Yeah. In eighth, we have Sophie White. Sophie is from North Central Region Number 3, representing Heron, Illinois, at Lodge 1146. Uh, she tied for first at States with a 17, and the girls in that shootout shot like they didn't want to come. They didn't want to advance. <laughs> she won it by hitting 6 out of 15. Jeez. It was good enough that day, and that's the thing about the mm -hmm. hoop shoot, right? You don't always have to be your best. You just yeah. have to be better than the other competitors, and she was at State, and again at yeah. Regional, where she posted her best uh, score so, of, the, of the tournament with a 20. We'll see if she can continue to keep improving. In ninth, we have Riley Hodkinson. Riley is from Northeast Central Region number five and is representing Oneida, New York, Lodge 767. 24 at Regional, the other of the two mm -hmm. uh, who did it, and also a 24 at State. Whew. She means business on She Saturday. does, yep. she does. Um, in 10th, we have Aubrey Bryan. Aubrey is from Central Region number 9, and she is representing Pulaski, Tennessee, Lodge 1827. She was here last year as well. She right? was, yeah. yeah. She tied for 8th with a 16 in this division, so mm -hmm. looking to do a little bit better on Saturday. All right, we'll see. And she's going to be probably sporting her Elks hoop shirt, the hoop shirt shirt that she got last year. She's right. a good luck charm. Hopefully she's washed it since then. <laughs> Hopefully. In 11th, we have Jada Baker. Jada is from Southeast Region number 12, and she's representing Eatonton, Georgia, Lodge 2549. She uh, has a talent for leadership. She's something mm -hmm. of a, quite the leader. Uh, now, of course, shooting 11th, she's going to be more of a follower in this contest. Yes, we'll see if she can lead her way to victory. That's right. And last but not least, in 12th, we have Reese Koropecki. Reese is from Southeast Central Region number 10, and she's representing Towson, Maryland, Lodge 469. Her favorite thing about the uh, hoop shoot is the <laughs> giant trophies, and you have seen nothing yet. The ones at, at, uh, at Nationals are the, are the largest, the largest. Yet. yeah. And I think the question comes down to which Reese will we see uh, on Saturday, is mm -hmm. it going to be the one who sank 21 at state or the one who got 17 at regional? I think that's going to go a long way to determining whether she goes home with one of those big things. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to be one to watch on the broadcast for sure. And that concludes our 10 to 11 girls. We'll be right back. And we are back with the boys 12 to 13 year old division. Now, historically, this division has had the smallest margin for error. The past three champions have been perfect. Heck, in 2020, perfect didn't even <laughs> guarantee you a spot on the podium. We had four perfect scores that year. 2010 was the last time a 23 was good Ooh. enough to win. And the last time a 21 or a 22 worked in this division? was 1987. Oh, man. Of course, the NCAA men's basketball champions that year were the Indiana Hoosiers, who were led by Elks Hoop Shoot Hall of Famer Steve Alford. Guess how many free throws he made in that one-point championship game, McKenna? Oh, man. I don't know if I can guess. I'm going to guess a lot. The answer is zero, because oh. he never went to the free throw line because the offici officiating was terrible. <laughs> Now, this year's field is stacked with experienced shooters. The boys averaged 22.7 at regionals. Ooh. There were three 24s at regionals and one perfect score. Two other boys posted perfect scores earlier in the tournament. Okay. Now, I'm most excited about this number right here, three. That's the number of returning finalists, and I can't wait for round three, the rubber match. 
of one of the best rivalries in recent years. Samuel Bauer versus Tommy Goodell, Sam I Am versus Tommy Donuts. In the virtual conclusion of 2020, they tied for first in the 10 to 11 with perfect scores. Mm -hmm. Tommy won the shootout 20 to 19. Ding, round one for Tommy Donuts. Last year, mm -hmm. they were at it again in 12-13. And that time, Samuel got the better of it, edging Tommy in the shootout for third, 15-14. Ding, Sam I am. Are they on another collision course? Will an upstart win the day? We'll find out on Saturday. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, without further ado, in first position, we have Kyron Kegler from West Central Region number eight. He's representing Parsons, Kansas, Lodge 527. Now, he was a national finalist in 2020. He tied yes. for seventh and eight nine with a 22. Mm -hmm. This will be his first time competing in person at the national finals. Let's see how he can That's do. Right. It was a virtual conclusion that exactly. year. Exactly. He has kicked multiple 30 yard field goals at age 11. That's amazing. Yeah. I can't even imagine that. Um, all right, in second, we have Blake Connett from Northwest Central Region number two, and he's representing Yankton, South Dakota, Lodge 994. He scored 24 at regionals to advance. Okay, he's one of the contenders. In third, we have the familiar name of Samuel Bauer representing Nampa, Idaho, Lodge 1389 from Northwest Region number one. Check out these scores. At Lodge, <laughs> he hits 23. Everyone has a bad day once in a while. <laughs> yeah. At district, he was perfect, 25 out of 25. At state, 24 out of five. At regionals, 25 out of 25. He's nice. on, this is his third year as a national finalist. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he can bring home the goal. I'm excited to see it. Oh, somebody might have something to say about that. Yeah, and shooting right after him in fourth position is Tommy Goodell from Northeast Central Region number five, representing Utica, New York, Lodge 33. Uh, he's also had quite a run, 23 at Lodge, perfect at District, perfect at State, 22 at Regionals, which was good enough on that day. This will be his, this is his fourth year of competing in the program, yeah. and his fourth year as a national finalist. In uh, 2019, he finished third, eight, time, eight nine, won it all as a 10, 11 year old in 2020, and then last year, as I said, finished fourth in the shootout. Yeah, he's consistently been at the top. Yep. Consistency. And this is his last go. This is his it. All right, in fifth, we have TJ Espinoza from New England region number six, uh, representing Putnam, Connecticut, Lodge 574. And uh, watching the broadcast as he may be doing from his home uh, in Connecticut, you might hear him going, what about me? Because he got a perfect score at state with 25, 23 at regionals. He's been around five years, and this mm -hmm. year uh, uh, represents the culmination of all that hard work. Absolutely. And that's great. All that hard work comes from probably his unique talent, which is his work ethic. That's right. Absolutely. In sixth, we have Bear Woods. Bear is from, <laughs> is from Southeast Region number 12, representing Pendleton, South Carolina, Lodge 2861. He's improved at every single level of this competition. 16 at Lodge, 18 at District, 20 at State, 23 at Regionals. Does he have one more jump in him? Oh, I can't wait to find out. In seventh, we have Tavis Zhang. Tavis is from West Region number seven, representing Sparks, Nevada, Lodge 2397. A, a familiar family with a new ish face. Yes, right? He's new ish. A, a twin brother was here uh, last year, right? Yeah, absolutely. Taro. Taro. And so and Taro finished second in 10 11. Right, right. I want to see if Tavis can repeat Taro's success. We're doing one better now. <laughs> His uh, toughest round was districts where he shot 19 and then needed to shoot off to advance. Oh. That was a dog bite. Went two rounds. He sank 10 out of 10 to get it done. 21 at, at state and then 24, that magic number at regional. Ooh, can't wait to see him compete. In eighth, we have Aiden Hickman. Aiden is from Southeast Central Region number 10 and he's representing Waldorf, Maryland, Lodge 2421. Another one who uh, needed a, a shootout uh, at districts, five out of five to advance. Wow. Um, all right, in ninth, we have Mason Self. Mason is from Southwest Region number 11, and he is representing Greenville, Texas, Lodge 703. Uh, he had a little bit of a breather in the regionals where he won that uncontested. Three previous rounds, all required shootouts to advance. Lodge, he got saying four out of five, five out of five at district, and then 19 out of 25 to win at state. Yeah, amazing. I wonder how his aim is, since his unique talent is ping pong. Oh, interesting, right? <laughs> yeah. 
In 10th position, we have Ryan Bjorklund from Great Lakes Region number four, representing Livonia, Michigan, Lodge 2246. Also hit 24 at regionals and needed a shoot off to advance, saying four out of five to get here. He's one of those guys who's amazingly impressive at field, goal, field goals. Yeah, just like Karen, he can kick field goals too. He's, he's hit 35 yard field goal. That's really amazing. In 11th, we have Kyler Hazelwood. Kyler is from Central Region Number 9, representing Henderson, Kentucky, Lodge 206. No stranger to the shootout, likes to keep on the brief though. He mm -hmm. had four out of five to advance at district and five out of five to win at state. Awesome. In 12th, we have Sawyer Wilkinson. Sawyer is from North Central Region Number 3, representing Benton, Illinois, Lodge 1234. And he sank eight out of 10 at uh, district to advance. A lot of tough, uh, district shootouts in this, this field. Yeah, it, it seems like it's kind of where a make or break mm -hmm. field. And well, those are our 12-13 boys, right? Yeah, that's it. We got one division left. Let's take a short break and then we'll get right to it. Sounds good. All right, this is the last one. We're back with the girls 12 to 13 year old division. All right, in 2013, McKenna, Hoop Shoot Hall of Famer Taylor Robertson, the Oklahoma oh. Sooner star, mm -hmm. shooting in this same 12-13 division, became the first reigning champion to successfully defend her Hoop Shoot title since fellow Hall of Famer Bonnie Samuelson won the second of back-to-back 10-11 -back titles in 2005. Man. Only three other Hoop Shooters, Hall of Famers all, have successfully defended their titles. C.J. Kogel and the boys 10-11 in 1990, Brian Temke, boys 10-11 in 1988, and Kelly Lane, girls 12-13 in 1979. Now think about that. 50 years of hoop shoot history, 294 championships, and only five successful title defenses. Wow. On Saturday, no pressure or anything. But defending champion Bree Bessonen will step up to the line with a chance to follow in their footsteps and further burnish her Hall of Fame credentials. Because, you know, she also won an 8-9 title. So yeah. she has two championships already. Oh, my gosh. But standing in her path are some impressive sharpshooters. These girls averaged 21.5 at regionals, led by one perfect score and four others who missed only one or two shots. Oh my gosh. And in, in addition to Brie, two other girls are returning finalists. All told, these 12 girls have 38 years of hoop shoot experience. One shoots for a legacy, two seek redemption, and the rest will have something to say about it. I got the chills. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started with the girls 12 to 13. In first is Morgan Mealy from Southeast Central Region number 10, representing Wheeling, West Virginia, Lodge 28. Her best score was a 21 at Lodge. She's coming off back-to-back -back 20s at state and regionals. Let's see if she can improve on that uh, this Saturday. In second, the person we're so familiar with, Bree Bessonen from Great Lakes Region number four, representing Copper Country, Michigan 404. No, uh, she's been participating in the hoop shoot for five years. Yeah. This is her third trip to the finals, and those previous two trips, she went home with the gold trophy. Absolutely. She shot 25 at the Lodge, 23 at District, 20 at State, which is good enough on that day, and then 24 at Regionals and five out of five in a shoot off to make Ooh. it here. I'm excited to see her compete. She is part of that Bessonen family legacy. That's right. In third, another returner, Amanda Sizer from Northeast Central Region number five, representing Somerville, New Jersey, Lodge 1068. Now, she was uh, in, here in 2019 mm -hmm. uh, and then last year as well, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And she's looking to improve upon those scores that she got. Yeah, I mean, she's uh, maybe a little tired of seeing Brie Bessina. <laughs> <laughs> She, they went head to head both of uh, both, both of, those. of those previous years. All right, a newcomer in fourth, Macy Newmiller from Northwest Central Region Number Two. She sank twenty three at regionals. Awesome. So she's definitely one yeah. to watch, um, and her lucky charm is Kyle, a stuffed dog charm that she brings with her on her basketball bag. Oh. Maybe we'll catch that on the cameras. 
Uh, in fifth, we have Maisie Buffetta. Maisie is from North Central Region number three, and her lodge is Virginia, Minnesota Lodge 1003. Her best round was state with a 23, uh, mm -hmm. dipped down to 16 at regionals, and then in the shoot off hit four out of five to get it done. Make it here. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I have on good authority that we'll see her lucky charms, stuffed animals, lucky and charm at the finals. Nice. <laughs> In sixth, we have Maggie Brogdon. Maggie is from West Central Region number eight, and she is representing Sheridan, Wyoming, Lodge 520. Best round was 22 at state in the lodge dogfight Whew. for Maggie. Uh, she hit 18, tied for first, and then sank seven out of 10 to advance. Her unique talent is uh, flaring her nose on command, and I bet those noses, that nose was flaring in that, uh, in in that shoot-off. Shoot I, I imagine so. Yeah. In seventh is Lexi McGuire. Lexi is from New England, region number six, and she's representing Nashua, New Hampshire, Lodge 720. And was perfect at regionals. Absolutely. Her little brother, Miles, will be there supporting her in the fan zone. In eighth, we have Kristen Holt. Kristen is from Southwest, region number 11, and she's representing Claremore, Oklahoma, Lodge 1230. It's coming off a uh, 23. Uh, she's improved uh, District 19, State 22, and Regionals 23. All right. All right, Kristen. In ninth, we have Breland Jones. Breland is from Northwest Region number one, and she's representing Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Lodge 1254. Another one who gets it done in a quick shootout. At oh, yeah. Districts, four out of five to win, and at State, five out of five. Likes to just keep it short. Yep get that win in and you know she i'm sure she does the same thing when she's pitching just yep. consistently pitcher, yeah. yep all right in 10th we have anna lee live and good anna lee is from center region number nine and she's representing maryville missouri lodge 760. another one who's no stranger to the hoop shoot finals 2020 mm -hmm. virtual conclusion she finished fourth in girls eight nine with a 22. Ooh, we'll see how she does live in person yeah. at wintrust in 11th, we have Brantley McBrayer. Brantley is from Southeast Region number 12, and she's representing Coleman, Alabama, Lodge 1609. Now, if she has a unique talent, uh, <laughs> she can pop her eyes out. On Saturday, she's hoping to pop our eyes out. I'm sure, just in amazement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in last but not least place is Aubrey Pack. Aubrey is in 12th position and she is representing West Region number seven, all the way from Kona, Hawaii, Lodge 2616. She's coming off her best score, which is a 22 at regionals, three previous rounds, 21's all, and she survived three shootouts so far to get here. 13 out of 15 at Lodge, 15 out of 15 at District, and eight out of 10 at regionals. No stranger to really just buckling down and getting that win in. So those are our 12, 13 girls, and you've now met all 72 of this year's national finalists. We're expecting a great, great culmination for this tournament on Saturday. We've got yeah. six really good uh, contests to feature, and we're gonna be featuring all of them. We're gonna, each one of them will be covered in, in uh, our one of our two broadcasts. So yeah. that's yeah. gonna be really fun. Again, you can watch that. We'll put the, you know, the, the web address right here. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's enough.elks.org slash hs23live. Go there, pick the live stream you want to watch, and you're in business. You won't want to miss it. It's going to be one to watch for sure. I, I think that about wraps it up that's for this it. year's Monday Madness, I right? think that's it. So nice work. And, as know, always. Good luck to all of you. We look forward to, to seeing you and meeting you uh, on Saturday. All right. And that's it. Best wishes.